Prime Minister, is not worth the cost of housing, which has doubled as he builds bureaucracies that block homes. In January, according to data out today, rent was up 10 per cent year over year to $2,196, an astonishing increase in a very short time. In fact, it's up about 20 per cent in the last two years alone, and it's accelerating ever since he named his, his recently his incompetent housing minister. Will the Prime Minister follow our common sense plan to cut the bureaucracy and build the homes? If he was really concerned about rents, he would line behind us uh, and support the lowering, the removal of the GST on new apartment constructions. We're going to continue to be there to do the hard work of delivering for Canadians while he relies on catchy slogans. We were the ones that proposed taking the tax off home building, Mr. Speaker. The one idea, that good idea, that he finally copied. But he talks about slogans. One is the Housing Accelerator Fund, the $4 billion program that was supposed to speed up housing. We asked the housing minister yesterday in committee how many homes it had completed. The answer is zero. Nada, nothing. His quote, it doesn't actually lead to the construction of specific homes. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, Mr. Speaker, if it cost $4 billion to build zero homes, how much would it cost to build one? Yeah. Yeah. The Housing Accelerator Fund is about investing in municipalities across the country to change the frame around which they build homes faster. This is the approach that we're taking, and it's, and it's working, Mr. Speaker. Four billion dollars, 35 photo ops, one minister, zero homes. He not only says the program doesn't build homes, he says it doesn't lead to the construction of homes. He couldn't point to one development that had actually been completed. They've been in power for eight years, and they can't get anything built. When will they get the bureaucracy out of the, and the taxes out of the way so that we can build the homes? Yeah.